fast LSX R intake manifold set the standard for aftermarket LS intakes when it first came out, and it's still wildly popular today thanks to the way it performs. Now, Fast claims that on a stock engine, this will add between 14 and 20 additional horsepower, and we've seen that proven out time and time again on our own project cars. Now, what makes the LSXR unique is it's got a three-piece modular patented design that has a separate plenum, base, and intake runners. And what this does is it makes it easy to take it apart and modify those runners for high RPM applications. Now, Fast is offering it with three different runner lengths so you can better customize it to your engine. You can get these by themselves or as part of a kit that includes all three runner lengths. We're going to measure all three and then we're going to test them here at Cunningham Motorsports with Ryan Cunningham doing the tuning between pulls so we can optimize them for the different runner lengths. We're going to see how each one performs and how they move the power band around. First, let's take a look at the individual runners. To give you an idea of how different they are in terms of length and size, we've measured all three for length along the short side and we've measured them for total volume as well. Now the standard runners have an inside length of around 8 inches and their total volume is just about 680 cc's. The high RPM runners are about 6.25 inches long and have a volume of just under 460 cc's. The race runners are just 3.5 inches long and have an internal volume of 300 cc's. So we're going to be testing the 102mm LSXR manifold set up for LS3 style heads. Now keep in mind that we're seeing how the power band moves around, not necessarily peak to peak numbers. Ryan's going to be doing some tuning in between each pull to make sure that we're optimized for that particular runner length. And we're going to start with the street runners that we all know and love. Well, our first test showed us about what we expected with the standard length runners. Very stock looking horsepower and torque curves just bumped up a little bit from what we'd expect from stock. Now next we're going to run the high horsepower runners, and these are the mid length runners. These according to FAST are going to provide us with 8 to 10 more peak horsepower and they're also going to move that peak up between 500 and 1000 RPM. These are based on Daytona prototype intakes and they're both shorter and straighter than the standard runners. Our test of the mid-length runner showed us exactly what we anticipated. We did get an increase in peak horsepower and it was moved up in the RPM range. Now where this runner length is really going to shine is applications like uh, big bore, big displacement LS engines, and also uh, with a little more uh, intake timing on the camshaft where we can really let these runners breathe. Finally, let's test the race runner set. Now this is intended to move our peak horsepower between 1,000 and 2,000 RPM higher than the standard runner set. And it's designed for engines that can really take advantage of that extra headroom on the top end. Well, as you can see from the dyno graphs, our race set did indeed raise that power peak very high up in the RPM range. Obviously, this is going to be the right set for an engine that can take advantage of the extra revs, has more displacement, has more camshaft in it. So what did we learn today? Well, the standard long runners, they're going to be great for stock displacement engines with stock to close to stock camshafts, bolt-ons, and things of that nature. It's not going to move the horsepower peak way up high in the RPM range, and it's going to give you good drivability, more horsepower and torque throughout the entire power band. Let's talk about the mid-length high horsepower runners. Now, where these are really going to shine is when we start adding displacement, start getting a bigger cam on the intake side, any situation where we can take advantage of that extra breathing they offer at higher RPM. The race runners, well, they're overkill for this engine. We really ran out of RPM before we started seeing the true benefits of these shorter runners. These are going to be great, though, for any situation where you've got a lot of displacement, a lot of camshaft, and you're able to run a lot of revs. Based on our dyno results here today, it's pretty easy to see where each one of these different runner sets fits into the big picture. Whether you're running something that's strictly street, something that's street strip, or perhaps time attack or road racing, 
or if you've got a high stall converter in your drag car and you need that extra high RPM performance, one of these sets is going to match your needs. I want to say a big thank you to Ryan Cunningham and Cunningham Motorsports for helping us out with this test and to FAST for sending us the parts so we could test them in the first place. I encourage you to check out the rest of our YouTube channel. We've got a lot more information like this, a lot of tests, a lot of project car builds, a lot of fun. <laughs>